There exists broad consensus, including in Mozambique, that gender inequality is a key driver of the HIV epidemic. It's also widely agreed that improving women's sexual and reproductive health and rights, SRHR, will advance gender equality, which in turn is believed to increase economic productivity. Enhancing women's SRHR is framed in terms of women's ability to decide freely over their own bodies and school-based education as central to such empowerment. While one can question the assumptions outlined above in various ways, my main question here is, does school-based sexuality education in Mozambique indeed challenge existing gender relations and inequalities? Drawing on an analysis of governmental documents and interviews with policymakers, educators and young people, I argue that school-based education in Mozambique serves to entrench rather than contest patriarchal notions of proper women. Women's natural place is hereby defined in relation to the domestic, the intimate, the local in here, serving as a buffer from the disruptive out there, which in the case of Mozambique includes HIV and AIDS. A young man told me about the impact of HIV. He said, in Mozambique, we are again facing a fight. After these wars, after colonialization, HIV is creating a new fight. I argue that this quote is illustrative of the danger HIV is seen to pose to, the, to Mozambique as a nation. What else does this quote tell us? I argue it helps explain the political primacy that's placed on unity and the centrality of women in their role of symbolic anchors of family and nation in efforts to tackle the epidemic. In the case of Mozambique, and arguably many other settings, high HIV prevalence rates may thus have reversed rather than advanced feminist agendas, despite the centrality of women's emancipation to the political agenda in Mozambique since the struggle for independence.